No, it's Wednesday. I, one of these days, I'll figure it wow, out. Wow, we just lost a couple. We just lost. We're going backwards. <laughs> or we jumped ahead real fast, one or the other. Boy, if I would have done that, I'd have picked the ticket, the lottery ticket. Uh, time now for the Woodlawn Hospital Report as we welcome Brad Rogers and guest here this morning. We'll get to the guest here in a minute, but we'll, we'll talk to Brad first. Sure. Got Absolutely. a report from the board? Absolutely. Had board meeting yesterday. Went very well. Um, you know, January was a, a good month for the hospital overall as far as business-wise. Um, physician office visits were up 11.5%. Surgeries were up about 30%. Um, and this is all compared to the same time as of last year. So January 2022 to January 2023. Um, swing bed continues to be above budget. Um, January's numbers were about 20% above budget. So um, volumes in imaging and laboratory and speech therapy and, and unfortunately sometimes even the ER, <laughs> but they were all up for the month, uh, which led to a operating loss of only about 9,000 for the month. And um, that's actually a pretty good start for January. January is typically one of those months where we have low volumes, the insurances have rolled over, so there's typically fewer uh, elective procedures because deductibles start over and those kinds of things. So. Um, we're pretty pleased with January in general. Um, we did have, you know, some operating income that's uh, non-operating revenue um, that ended up making our net revenue for the month of about 340000 So overall, good month. Still working towards that one goal, which is we want to be making profit um, on operations. So without any of that additional money, we want to get to that point, and, and we're, we're slowly getting there. You know, that's great, too, and, and most of it is, is letting people know that uh, all the services that Woodlawn offers, and, and you know, people are learning that as, as you guys keep talking about it and, and bringing in uh, your guests that you bring in to, to let people know about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we were fortunate enough that we had uh, Dr. Hawk was on this, this Monday on Doc Talk, and, and he's doing a fabulous job for us here in the community. Um, you know, we can do nearly everything you can get done at a different facility, and and we want to be able to do that right here for you. Yeah. So, uh, very excited about that stuff. That's always my uh, buy local kind of campaign. <laughs> you know, we can do it right here. But right. is it earning the right to, to care, care for you? Yes. There you go. Um, so, yeah, we're very pleased with January. Um, some other things going on. Um, we're on track with the Schaefer building. Um, that remodel is going well, and, and hopefully, we'll have some information out formally here in the next couple of weeks where we'll be able to do an open house, get that out into the community, get everybody there to see that it's. Boy, it's, it's turning out real nice. Awesome. It really is. Um, reminder that St. Vincent's Cardiology is here now four days per week. Uh, we had a little bit of a challenge last year in just having enough spaces to get people in. We've added an extra day. So now you can get into that cardiology appointment here a little bit easier. So if you need anything, please give us a call on that. Um, OB refresh. Um, I wanted to say a facelift, but we're, we're doing a touch-up. Uh, we're, we're, we're painting walls and putting in new lighting and rearranging some stuff. Just making OB look a little nicer. Yeah. And it's really come along well. Awesome. Um, the, the foundation is uh, taking the reins on that, the Woodlawn Foundation. And uh, boy, we're, we're nearly done. And it's looking really, really nice. Um, other things we've been doing. Lots and lots from the marketing standpoint. So. Uh, Krista here is um, just going to kind of give you a little bit of info about what we're doing on the marketing area and then then we're going to get to the guest Alex Bainey here from our cardiopulmonary department. Uh, all right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, thanks. How's things going in the marketing? We've been busy and um, it's exciting for our community. We're finding ways to serve them better. Um, so the biggest news I think out of my department this month is that we started or we took down our old website, it was very old, and we um, redid it, and it's been many months in the process, but um, if you haven't been on, it's woodlawnhospital.com, we'd really encourage people to go on. Um, a lot of ways that they can now find their doctors, there's bios about their doctors, so you might find out something that you didn't know <laughs> about your doctor, what they like to do in their spare time, or some of their hobbies, um, and we have some fun things in the near future that we're gonna be pushing out to that website now that we have some more updated technology. So more to come with that, but um, we've been excited to see um, 
the look. Our hospital is, um, for a, a county hospital, it is very updated, and our website matches us, so we're excited. Awesome. Um, and just a reminder, we are really active on social media, on our Facebook page and our Instagram. Um, if you don't follow us or the community doesn't follow us, we'd love if you could come um, and hang out with us. We put a lot of great information out there. Um, and a lot of fun things about um, what's going on inside our walls, and we're, we're a lot more transparent, um, and we're, we do a lot of cool things. So if you are on Facebook, just search Woodlawn Hospital, um, and then at Instagram, we're at Woodlawn Hospital, all one word. Um, and we'd love if the community would come and show some support and follow us. Awesome, awesome. Sounds like some, some great things that, that you're working on. Obviously, as uh, the weather gets nicer, I'm sure you'll be busy uh, getting out and about as well. Yep, we have a lot of plans to be at county fairs and parades, so um, we're going to, we, we, when we came, I mean, Mr. Fisher was here many months ago, we said we were going to get out in the community, and so we, we aren't just saying that, that's a plan we plan to follow, so. Awesome, awesome. Anything else uh, that uh, you got out of marketing? Um, not this month. Okay, perfect, awesome. So we'll uh, turn to... Uh, Alex, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on here. Hey, hey thanks for coming and uh, talking to us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself first. Sure. So as Brad mentioned, I'm the director of cardiology and rehab services at Woodlawn Hospital. Um, uh, my education is as a physical therapist. And today I would like to talk uh, to the listeners about heart health. Okay. I don't mean to be grim after following <laughs> February, which had Valentine's Day in it, but heart <laughs> disease is the number one cause of death and has been since 1950. Heart disease refers to many conditions that make it difficult for the heart to do its job. Um, one of the most common is coronary artery disease. This is a condition where the um, arteries get clogged up and the heart's ability to do its job is diminished. When an artery supplying blood to the heart uh, becomes blocked, it results in a heart attack. And when it uh, is blocked getting to the brain, it results in a stroke. So these are very important um, diseases to keep track of. There are certain risk factors that we can uh, modify, and then there are a few that aren't modifiable. So I want to talk about the risk factors that are modifiable, and these might um, not be a surprise, but some of them are uh, smoking or tobacco use, unhealthy cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, diabetes, excess weight, stress, and last, lack, <coughs> excuse me, lack of physical activity. Um, the American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. This includes brisk walking, biking, aerobics, many other exercises. 150 minutes sounds like a lot of minutes <laughs> and it's a daunting task, but it's important that we start somewhere. So start with 10 minutes a day getting out there and walking, riding a bike. It's Spring's coming, that's so that's get right. Especially out there. when you got this sunny weather, it helps, doesn't it? That's right. <laughs> so if you're having signs, uh, uh, chest pain, um, vision issues, please don't hesitate, call 911 and get in there quicker, sooner rather than later. Obviously this is something that, uh, you know, as you get a little older too, sometimes that, that uh, age will, will play a factor in that, but I know, uh, you know, that, that number keeps fluctuating every year is uh, where the average heart attack is. Absolutely, we're finding patients that are becoming younger and younger that come in with these strokes and or heart attacks especially during the pandemic, a lot of people were afraid to get help, so that put most of those deficits further advanced. So yes, don't hesitate. Yeah. Obviously, uh, you talk about the getting out and exercising, and like you said, though, the, the biggest thing is just get started. I mean, yeah. it, that's it. you don't have to go to the 150 right off this week. <laughs> and a lot of people have questions about, you know, what do I do to start? I think this community has a lot of good healthcare professionals, mm -hmm. fitness professionals that they could reach out to. Some people might experience pain or disability, and, and that's the reason they can't get out. And I would invite them to come and talk to our rehab department, and we'd help them get on their feet and back up and running. You know, that's always a neat thing, too, to have uh, that rehab right here in town. You don't have to. If you've had an issue or, or you know, you start exercising and get an issue, it, it's a perfect opportunity. You don't have to go out of town. Just head out east uh, on 9th Street. We are available. We've got a, a, a huge experience that, that our therapists do. A lot of experience treating multiple conditions. So don't hesitate to, to reach out and call us up. Does that have to go through a doctor referral or can they contact uh, therapy directly? Many times patients can contest, uh, contact us directly. There are some insurances out there that still require a doctor's order, but 
um, you can come and see us. Call us up. Call up our department, and we can we can figure that out for you yeah. if you need an order or not. Awesome. Anything else you've got there to mention about? Uh, obviously, the heart is very important to uh, to the body, and uh, there's a lot of different uh, avenues to go with that. There are. So I guess I would encourage listeners if you are having any. Uh, chest pain, any conditions that you think might be related to your heart, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. Your doctor might order some certain tests, blood pressure, blood test, uh, some stress tests. So there's, there's a few different stress tests that we can do at the hospital. Um, so don't hesitate to talk to your doctor about that. Well, I appreciate you coming in, Alex. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Brad, as we wrap up here today, anything else? Yeah, no, we really don't have a, we really don't have a whole lot of other things to, uh, to add on there. Uh, just stressing what Alex said, you know, we work really hard in the last couple of years to make sure that we're stroke certified and chest pain certified. And we want to make sure that the community knows, hey, we've got doctors multiple days per week. We have all the training there. If you have something go on, don't wait. Um, I have a very good friend who uh, just uh, a couple of weeks ago at 43 years old had a heart attack. Mm. Um, normal height, weight, looked like everything was fine, but he had a genetic issue with uh, um, cholesterol that it had nothing to do with him. Mm. So, um, boy, get in and get checked often. It's, it's earlier and earlier we're seeing those kinds of things happen. So, Brad, yeah. Alex, Krista, thanks for coming in. We'll look forward to talking to you again next month. Absolutely. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. That's what on Hospital Report here on the Giant FM. Right into some great music from 1999, a little Sugar Ray. Hey.